What is up people and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to make a quick video thanking anybody who's watched or subscribed over the past year as I've hit 4000 hours today so I'm really happy about that. I don't know if it's a video people would usually make, I feel like it's usually more to do with subscribers these type of thank you videos um, you know 100 subscribers which I've done or a thousand subscribers or whatever it may be but it is a major milestone it's one of I feel like it's a one of the biggest milestones for when you're starting out uh, making YouTube videos and also it's one of the goals to reach monetization or achieve monetization there is 3,000 hours and 4,000 hours now along with um, 500 subscribers and a thousand subscribers I'm sorry if I'm hmm and and on a bit, I'm kind of doing this off the cuff because I like to try and keep it genuine. I've written a couple of things down here. So that was the main thing. I just kind of wanted to thank us all for helping that be a thing because without you watching, I wouldn't have got the hours, obviously. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of like run through some facts and give my thoughts and advice. That's why I think I'm going to name the video as well as a thank you. Because I feel like nobody who's re who's at the stage of doing their video kind of like nobody who's at this stage of YouTube kind of goes in depth with like you know their watch time hours uh, or subscribers. I feel like more though for watch time hours because it's um a time thing. Like when you're trying to get a thousand subscribers or five thousand subscribers, there's no time limit to it. But for the watch time hours, there is for the three thousand and four thousands. It's in. It's within one year. Now that's not like a calendar year of the first of January to the thirty first of December, for example. It's like from whenever you start your first um, video to your last to like the day before or day of that video. I guess when that comes back around. So in my instance, my first YouTube video ever was. Harry Potter Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough um part 2 because I uploaded the part 2 before the part 1 because I was made a mistake because I was new and I uploaded that on the 11th of February and I'm after getting my 4000 hours on the 31st so yeah I, I don't know I just kind of wanted to like just say a few things I guess because I know that some people struggle with it. People, people get this stuff in different ways. Like some people find that their subscribers fly up. They might get their subscribers within six months, a year, you know, one month if they get like a really good video out. And other people like me, after a year, only have, well, I don't want to say only, have, you know, 200, 200 whatever subscribers, but get the watch time hours. And um, yeah, so... In terms of when I got it, just to like run through some things, just to give you a time frame, sort of um, an idea on the time frame. Obviously, like I said, I started on the 11th of February, 2023. It was Hogwarts Legacy Walkthrough Part 2. Um, that was my very first video. When I reached 3,000 watch time hours, it was the 22nd of December, 2023. I got I had three thousand and six hours on that day because I usually kind of take screenshots and stuff when I'm looking at it on my YouTube analytics just to keep me motivated and just have little things to look back on or whatever. And then on the thirty first of January today, this video should be on up today. I got uh, four thousand and forty hours. So yeah, let's pass it in the end now obviously it's not that uh, far from my due date if you want to use that word you're looking at like 11 days or 10 days I had left to get it and I didn't think I was going to get it to be honest with you if you had asked me two weeks ago how my channel was doing in terms of watch time hours I would have said no there's a possibility that this might not happen even though I like to be positive thinking <clears throat> just because my I had done I had started my reclaiming my level forty that series and that popped off and done really well along with some other videos and boosted my watch time hours up loads. I was getting, you know, 
around 50 50 hours of watch time a day for about a week and at around that point point or just before it i want to say i was at about 3500 hours so i still had like and this is pr- i want to say this is about three weeks ago maybe three four weeks ago so i had a long way to go but um i got it obviously i i, I did get it done after that then that series popped off though my views slowed down massively and i or not my view well my views as well but my hours slowed down massively to about i want to say 10 hours 10 hours per day i was getting which is still good and i would be happy with that um under normal circumstances especially because i think that in today's kind of social media era or whatever like we really underrate the amount of people or like just numbers like we devalue numbers so much so like we act like you know like a hundred subscribers no one would really bat an eyelid and be like oh well like that's such a amazing achievement which it is like pat yourself on the back if you've got gotten that as well but a hundred people is a lot of people if you had like a hundred people physically in a room looking at you you would you wouldn't be like oh this is like this is a tiny amount of people looking at me you'd be like this is a shit ton of people that are looking at me right now so uh that's one thing about the just a little side note a little ramble about how i I feel like numbers are kind of have lost their value in a way but back to the topic because this is what i do sometimes i go off on like mad tangents and all um about the hours so i was getting about 10 hours and i had done like the calculation so i was just subtracting like four thousand from what i had and then like dividing it by the amount of days i had left and it was saying that i needed like 11.3 or something let's just say and i was getting about 10 and i was like so if i can even maintain this which i don't even know if i will be able to because of the way things are going i'm gonna like i'm gonna miss this i'm gonna like miss it by like 50 hours or 40 hours or 30 hours which would have made me sick just because then you have to it resets and you have to do it all again and then what if you hit your thousand subscribers but now you're waiting until you get your hours back up to you know um get your watch time sort uh goal sorted so i was upset about that and then i just you know remotivated myself kept going kept going and was like you know you can do this let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going so i started like figuring out new ideas new things switching things around really like trying to think about what i'm actually doing instead of just uploading 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 which i do a lot as you can see by the uploads on the channel i was like let me just think a tiny bit more and sure enough i ended up turning it around um i put put out some more videos only about three days ago or so and well three four five days ago and they all started doing really well and just started going up and up and now like two days ago i still had 150 hours so i think that's like just a pretty big thing is like like i said three days ago uh on like the 29th or whatever that was i had 150 hours still left to go on like my goal but three days later i've already gone past it by 40 hours i got like i got seven i think i got like i must have got like 70 hours a day i got 50 hours the other day i got 70 another day or whatever whatever it may be it was a lot basically um another thing i want to add well actually we can move on to the next thing so it's just this is kind of like a weird like advice section or whatever you know it's funny i said to myself I'm gonna like cut this up like I'm gonna you know start recording say words like actually in proper order and fashion and whatever and then stop and then like really think about what I'm gonna say and then record and then stop it's I can't do it so well I could do it but I don't want to do it so I'm just recording one recording through and if I um and ah and you know lose myself for a second I'll, I'll, I'll get back there don't worry um but on to the advice thing obviously the biggest thing is consistency you have to be consistent if you're gonna get to four thousand hours and i just want to say before i get into it as well i'm not like an expert i don't want to like try and act like i'm an expert 
I, I'm not a guru. I'm clearly not. Like, I, there's no other secret channel I have that has 100,000 subscribers. I'm not like, I have 200 or something subscribers and I've just hit 4,000 hours. And like I said at the beginning, the only reason I'm even doing this part of the video is because I just feel like sometimes it's hard to like listen to people who are giving you advice on a situation that they're clearly not in anymore as opposed to someone who's in it or has just recently gotten out of it so for a channel who was like say vidIQ for example which is a great channel and I use vidIQ as like a, a extension like to look at all my stuff and I highly recommend you use vidIQ as well but it's kind of hard for a channel of that size telling you oh like this do this thing and do that thing and whatever and all and they've got all this stuff or even any other whatever youtuber if they start telling you about what they think you should do but they've already got they've got like a million subscribers or something that's like well easy for you to say even if they're telling you that oh i was here at some point but you can see right now on the channel that i am here right now so anyway like i said going off on a tangent back to what we're talking about consistency it's the most important important thing obviously um, you can't get to 4,000 hours of watch time in a year without being consistent. 4,000 hours is a lot of hours. Like I said, the, like, the value of numbers is a serious thing. 4,000 hours is crazy. 4,000 hours is equivalent to one person watching your videos for 166 days without taking a break, without closing their eyelids once during all the seconds and minutes of every hour of every day for 166 days that's the equivalent of 4,000 hours it's half a year nearly it's crazy and you need to be consistent really consistent and if you're not going to be consistent you need to have quality videos now the problem I kind of have with the quality videos is when I was like starting the first things I was looking at, I was like, right, well, what can I do? I was like, what goals am I going to focus on? I'm going to focus on subscribers or watch time. And I seen well, watch time has, watch time has a, a, like a reset button on it. It has a time limit. So to me, that makes the most sense to go for that because subscribers, you can get whenever subscribers, you know, if, if you're right now have the time to do YouTube kind of like whenever you want, but maybe in three months you won't and maybe you're going to start like working or, I'll, or going back to school and I'll get into that in a second in a different way then you're going to have a lot more pressure on yourself trying to get say 500 more hours of watch time before a deadline then you are going to be getting 500 more subscribers to get to a thousand from 500 because there is no there is no um deadline it's just whenever you want whereas the watch time hours you need to get them by a certain point and that can be kind of stressful so that's the thing i would focus on first and that's the thing i did focus on first and then to bring it back to what i was saying about to bring it back to what i was saying about the quality over quantity or quantity over quality my problem with that is if you were to make quality videos that's fine but i think like we need like kind of a reality check for all of us even like me included of like what a quality video is when you see some of the videos that these like youtubers are putting out like quality video is it is a lot quality video is not spending an hour or half an hour on your video even some of my videos that i that i record straight i might spend like a half an hour kind of doing a little bit of a concept on them so if you're going to be one of these channels who like posts once a week or once every two weeks, that's fine. But are you spending like your, your posting every two weeks? Or are you spending like a full week of the recording, the editing, the planning, most of all beforehand, like multiple hours just on your thumbnail alone? Because that's what you're going to need to do if you're only going to post once a week or once every two weeks or even some people probably only post once a month like the video has to be insane like you have to look at this and be like do you know what 85 percent 90 percent chance that this is like going viral and getting at least five thousand ten thousand views or something like that because and you should know that you should nearly know that because youtube like it isn't really a guessing game um even though it feels like that sometimes and the whole, you know, 
people like to throw around the shadow ban word and stuff like that you, you, sometimes you do need to just like look at what's going on instead of just like i said earlier just posting without any thought whatsoever which even for someone like me who posts the amount of videos i, I have at some points i've done that but at other points i have actually like really thought about what i was doing and a prime example of that would be about i want to say about november october -ish time something like that i was at about two thousand hours it was just actually before october or something like that don't quote me on it because it's not something i've actually looked up but i was like struggling i was like like what am i doing my views aren't really the best i was kind of jumping from game to game and it's like all these people who do guides on your channel about like how to start a youtube channel will say here are the things you need to do for like to grow your channel and one of the things they'll all say is like you need to have a niche so it needs to be like it needs to be focused on one thing but when they say niche it's like it's a thing within a thing it's not just a thing so the thing is not just gaming like i have a gaming channel and i do play different games but for me i can see from my analytics on my channel that my niche within that gaming like thing that i do is 100 percent hogwarts legacy and that's what i realized when i was looking at my analytics um around october time that i was like what can i do for some views or whatever and i looked at my analytics and i looked at my top 10 um content in the last 28 days which you can see on your youtube studio and all of it bar one video which is a star wars jedi survivor video that i do on that has kind of like picked up a good bit of steam and has like 20,000 views were all Hogwarts Legacy and I said well I clearly need to make more Hogwarts Legacy videos because that's what people want to see from my channel that's where most of my subscribers are probably at There's, that's where most of my views are at and going back to the watch hours even just me making a conscious decision to see that and go right this is what I need to do if I go on to my watch time hours for the year, my most popular video for watch time hours is my Hogwarts Legacy Halloween walk, which is a one hour video that has on its own gotten 654 watch time hours. And if I didn't make the actual conscious decision to go, let me not just post, let me sit back, take a look, look at the stuff that the YouTube studio provides, see what works for me, then, I wouldn't have got any of them views and I definitely wouldn't even have the watch time hours these 4,000 hours that I have now either because the only reason I have these is because I once again made the conscious decision to like sit back for a second and be like right I'm playing all these games I was playing I am bread uh, power wash simulator fucking stranded deep which is a separate thing and was actually doing well just um valiant heart or valiant hearts the great war loads of stuff and i sat back looked at my analytics again even if i just look at my real-time views i'll tell you this right now in the past 48 hours i've got 3435 views and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven out of what's that maybe 11 out of 15 videos are all hogwarts legacy so that just like shows it again so i really think that's important that's a bit like like i said consistency and then quality over quantity or quantity over quality i do think unless you're going to be honest with yourself and say i'm actually going to make one video a week but the like the six days that I'm not making that video, like the actual recording of it, or however long it takes, break it up whichever way you want, but it's not just I'm recording that video on one day, unless you're some wizard at like editing and planning and everything like that. I'm actually spending the other six days thinking about thumbnails, thinking about titles, thinking about the concept of the video, and recording the video and editing the video, all of them things. And if you're not gonna do that, 100% I'd recommend that quantity excuse me quantity is going to be the way because it is going to be a, a mediocre a mediocre video that you think is quality but if you're being honest with yourself isn't actually getting posted once a week of course if you post 
two time like two two video two videos a day three videos four videos five videos a day it's going to be very hard to like be and i also recommend to like an extent to post like to post them if you're playing like a game that's only came out like just again just going off on a different rant but playing um a new newer game that's just came out do just do your how to's do your tutorials do your like search based content it's like an easy way to guarantee yourself getting like 50 50 to 100 views or whatever it may be in a couple of hours of watch time and maybe a subscriber or two if like you've seen me do with like plenty of stuff with hogwarts legacy and star wars jedi survivor if there was a thing that people were struggling with just make a video on it if there's something you're struggling with make a video on it if there's something to get in the game if there's a puzzle uh a few different areas that are killed just make a video on it and that's another thing just make videos like talking about oh my subscribers are too low or my watch time hours are too low make videos and for first before anything just be like i'm making a video don't worry about to an extent of course you don't want to like you know there's different ways to look at it say posting things that like uh, channels with three four or five million subscribers already posted and you're worried oh is it gonna get lost but unless this is something that's super time consuming because this is like focusing on the quantity aspect of posting right now that's the good thing about quantity videos is like my most time consuming videos are my hour long kind of like walkthrough videos or conquering hogwarts whatever type of videos you want to um you want to call them those are my most time consuming ones because I'm actually just sitting there recording but past that I've kind of got my thumbnails in a style that I like which I think are are they the best in the world no they're probably like 40% or 50% of what I could actually make them be if I actually tried a bit more which I need to do I need to take my own advice but are they decent looking can you look at them and know what's going on I think so so that only takes me about 10 15 minutes so that's my mo most time consuming thing is just an hour long let's play let's play and then 15 minutes so if you're making them um, quantity type of videos you can just keep lashing out videos don't worry about who's posted what like oh well they've posted this literally just come up with the idea or watch videos and you see something but you see it, maybe you look in the comments and other people are saying oh but there's this thing or that thing or you forgot about this thing and just make it a little bit better or do it in your own way or do the same thing obviously don't start copying people word for word don't copy their title word for word their thumbnail word for word the whole concept don't be speaking like them in the video doing their whole intro and outro and everything but just make it your own I think I'm nearly done now. I don't know if I have much else to say. The only other thing I could advise um, is just don't give up. I feel like this is like way too much for what I wanted to do. I fully intended, I promise you, swear to God, I meant to make a video like five minutes long being like, thanks, thanks for the 4,000 watch time hours and I am going to give you like a little bit of my thoughts and advice and now we're like 23 minutes in but the last thing i would say is just um just don't give up like just keep going that's the other thing if you want to get four thousand hours or a thousand subscribers or whatever when i end up doing we have to just you have to just keep going like there's going to be some days where it's shit there's going to be some days where you get like 20 views there's going to be some days where you get a thousand there's going to be some days where you get one hours or two hours of watch time there's going to be some hours where you, where you get 70 the only way you're not going to be able to get it is by quitting one little last statistic i kind of want to throw at you is i had a year to do this 365 days i finished on the 31st of january which is 11 days before my due day so i done it in what is that 354 or whatever i don't know um on top of that if you scroll down to my channel and get to summertime i was so busy with work and i was taking so much overtime in the summer that from i posted a star wars tutorial video on the 7th of june and from the 7th of june to the 9th of september when i posted 
a Lempo video, what uh, a, vi a video game called Lempo, like an indie in an indie game, a walkthrough of that. I did make one video, so for ninety three days of my you my year for getting this goal, I didn't make one video. Three months, I didn't make a single video just because I was so occupied with work. I had no time. I had no energy. I wasn't able to do it. And then I was like sweat. I went on a holiday, and like I started like getting my energy back. Whatever. I wasn't going back to the same exact job. So then I was like sweating to like get back into YouTube, and I made a video as soon as I came back. Um. I, st I still got it. So it's possible. It's possible to do in, in a year. It's possible to do in nine months. It's possible to do in six, in three, in two, like in one, if you're good enough. Who knows? But just don't give up. I thought a week ago, like I said earlier, 100% I was not going to be getting 4,000 hours this year and I was probably going to have to do another full year of trying to get it, which would have kind of broke me a little bit. I would have got over it, I would have been like, yeah, right, let's get it done, but before that, I would have been like, oh, this is so annoying, but I did get it done, so, yeah, that's all I have to say, I think, I have, like, rambled a lot, and I don't know if anything I said was useful, is me saying that probably going against some of the advice I've just given, probably, uh, am I still going to post this, yeah, it's part of my journey, part of whatever. If I just decide to stop making videos in, I don't know, six months or in a year or whatever, or I don't make it, which I don't believe because I don't believe in not believing that I can do something. It's still going to be there just for other people to see and watch. And even if only five people watch this or one person watches this, even if one person watches this and takes like, something from it, that's 26 minutes worth of rambling in my eyes. And that's all I have to say. So I'm going to end the video saying thank you so much for the 4,000 watch time hours. I'm happy that that's out of the way. I'm really appreciative of it. I'm going to end the video with my goals. I would really like to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I think I will do so. My next immediate goal is to get to 500 subscribers, which is the lower tier of monetization and once i do that i will have that unlocked because i already have the three thousand hours of watch time and then my next call like i said after that will be one thousand hours so those are my goals if you want to leave a comment let me know just let me know what you think about anything if you need any other advice or if there's anything maybe i said and didn't finish on or you're curious about let me know not like i'm an expert like i said don't attack me i'm not a guru but if you found or if you found the video helpful let me know, just anything, just let me know, how was your day, let me know, I'm gonna end this here, it's probably the tour time I said I'm gonna end the video, once again, thank you for 4,000 hours, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, just subscribe in general, like I said, I need more subscribers, I love you all, and thanks, see you in the next one.